everyone, Dan here. Today what I want to do in this tip is I'm going to do kind of an unusual thing. As those of you who are students of mine taking my DVD classes, you should know that what I do is part of the program. If you want them, you can send in your paintings for a DVD, send in your paintings for a critique. So what I thought I would do is I've been working on this um, copper thing. Let's say I'm about 60, 70 percent done. So I thought I would do a critique of my own painting to let you know how I what my process is as I go through the painting process and what I look for in my own paintings and I think that would be a really cool insight but it's also at the same time let those of you who aren't taking a class know what a critique is like alright alright so let's put this thing on the computer and do a critique thanks hey everyone Dan here I wanted to go over and show you this is the setup for this painting I'm working on right now and here's the painting that I started a while back and what this is is a critique of my painting by me you know and a lot of people send in critiques for me to critique well this is one of my paintings that I have relatively just started it's about 50 60 percent in what you'd see is most everything's kind of laid in but there's everything needs a lot of work yet but um I think it's just a good thing for you to see where how my thinking process goes as I go through this. These are the kind of questions I ask myself or I talk to myself while I'm painting. So let me just go through, talk about some of the things that are good, and we'll talk about some of the things that need work. First off, I think this background here is just really beautiful. I think, uh, let me see if I can get it to pull it over. I think some of this beautiful abstract background shapes are really nice. I think the thickness of the paint on this is really beautiful. I see some nice brush strokes. And then yet when we pull away, there's still it still retains the, the shape and the look of the copper. So I think that's really good. Um, I think the lay-in of these, um, what I want to say, silver dollar dried leaf things is starting to look good, but um, it's not there yet. What I do notice is I need to have more value change. Right now, it all looks like middle to upper value, and I don't have anything in the deep values yet. And that's a real easy problem for a lot of artists to kind of mess up, if you will. So I need to get some more of the deeper valued ones of these um, silver dollars. I've got, like I say, the lighter values and the middle values, and maybe even a little bit more of the brightest brights, like what you're seeing here. Not going too crazy, but a few of them. But mostly what I need is some middle to more middle and more dark deeper values and if you look here at the greenery what I'm seeing is we're starting to see some greenery laid in but until I get some pieces of greenery that really represent leaves this is just gonna look like kind of a mess of green so what I need to do is bring in some leaves that actually look like leaves right um, this orange guy looks pretty good there's some nice brush work on here maybe this highlight might be a little bit overplayed it has more of a shape of an apple than an orange so I might have to bring this down a little bit to make it look more orange shaped okay these little grapes are nice they're very subdued that's good this tabletop here I, I like the color here but I think what if I brought in a little bit different color down in here that would be my suggestion for that is bring down a little bit more of a color or in the photograph there's actually a rug here maybe even put a little bit of a rug with the, maybe have some tassels in it to maybe really bring this thing and and bring it home I have a blue bowl here in this I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to put it in I do like the little pieces of blue because it's a nice discord for this very warm um, for this very warm harmony that you see here so make would make for a very nice discord and what the discord is is that's the someplace different on the color wheel normally on the opposite side so those are the things I see. I see here I've got some green grapes I want to put in, but I want to leave them very abstract, but they need to be resolved more than that. We have this hump on the table that we're going to have to deal with. The grapes are looking pretty good. I maybe have got them a little bit too blue, so they're a little bit too much out of the color harmony. But I'll wait to decide what I'm doing here with this, because if I don't put that bowl in, I may use some of that as a little bit of a discord. 
So anyway, that's my thinking process. When I go through this or when I